En dit is Dan Markovic. De Canadees. Dan Markovic werkt bij de narcotica brigade in Toronto. Dat even tussendoor. Heeft al een hele andere techniek. Klemt die steen goed vast onder de kin en daar gaat hij. Ja, dat is geen slechte. 12 meter en 82 centimeter voor Dan Markovic. Hij is het allemaal nieuw voor deze man niet. Dan Markovic. Ja, hij is het gewend. Even die concentratie, dat juiste moment zoeken, loslaten. En weer die schreeuw erbij. En dan komt ver. Ver boven de 20, 22 meter en 92 centimeter. Deze worp van Dan Markovic. From Toronto, Dusko Markovic, the Canadian Highland Games champion. And under cover this competition, now you've got the first event over. I'd like to make it in the top five. Uh, just like anybody else, I'd like to win it. But as I said, these people have a lot more experience. And uh, you get guys like Jeff Capes, uh, John Paul Sigmerson. I mean, uh, you know, they're animals, so. All that pain around, Sigmerson looks remarkably relaxed. He goes against Dusko Markovic, the Toronto cop. On speed, nothing much to choose at the moment. Sigmerson's first to the turn, though, and quicker with the harness. He shortened the length of the rope like capes, and that seems to be the right method. Dusko's well behind. Rhythm, that's what John Paul has. He also has some sack to pull. Signs of a tired man there. It's very quick, even though there are more than traces of a struggle now in Sigmundson. But he's over in an astonishing one minute, 6.4, and grateful for the lie down. Only a couple of yards to go for Markovic. No, the time limit is up, but the new boy has put himself into fourth place. Vikings seem to feel no pain. How about Canadians? Well, I'll tell you, it was so bad. If you looked at the definition of word bad in the dictionary, my picture would probably be there. It was pretty bad. Now desperate Dan Markovic. He's not messing about, obviously thinking speed is a virtue. One of the basic problems here is grip. The very smoothness is a handicap. Well, Cape seems to be lifting with him. Oh, Disco's finding it all a bit much. Oh, he's done it. But that's enough. And obviously, he's not going to... Disco, the tough man with a soft heart. Walders, for whom Sigmerson has a high regard. <laughs> Difficult to say who touched first there. Certainly, the Dutchman's car is off first. John Paul obviously knows his stuff about this man, who clearly has no love for French cars, which are proving stubborn for Dusko. This is very fast indeed. 18.1, and it puts him in the lead. But Dusko could beat Brewer for fourth place. Yes, 24.6. The policeman in fifth place isn't the man to let go a prisoner easily. But then he doesn't hold him up like this. Not officially, anyway. Bonjour! Bit of PR never goes amiss. Bonjour! A Yugoslavian naturalized Canadian and speaking fluent French. He's appealing to everybody. Bonjour! Well, there is a reaction. Give it a time! Disguising pain isn't all that easy. Referee telling him to keep the arms back. 
That's it, though. He also infringed the rules by bringing his arm... Well, Markovic, the policeman in fifth place, isn't the man to let go a prisoner easily. But then he doesn't hold him up like this. Not officially, anyway. Bit of PR never goes amiss. A Yugoslavian naturalized Canadian and speaking fluent French. He's appealing to everybody. Well, there is a reaction. Give it a time. Disguising pain isn't all that easy. Referee telling him to keep the arms back. That's it, though. He also infringed the rules by bringing his arm. All the competitors are allowed six lifts. And this is Dusko's third. It's the same weight, 340 kilos. It's looking tough for him. He must lock out those knees. Well, he made it. But that looked like the limit for him. He's certainly feeling it. That's a full out. Markovic against Wolders. The Dutchman's left leg is merely keeping him company, nothing more. But it's heavily strapped. He's still suffering pain. Markovic is handling the 90 kilos barrel as if it was a 90 kilos barrel. The shake defies a clean hold. Well, the French lesson is understandably brief. You also have told them the words for agony, pain, exhaustion, and get me out of this. Surprisingly, they think they've had enough. Especially Walders, who'll have to do his nightclub bouncing from a wheelchair for the next month. But Markovic is going to go on, even though the referee has warned Walders that he'll get no points if he doesn't complete another lift. The Canadian is about to go with 310 kilos. He knows it's the last event anyway. So the thought of leaving Nice for a winter in Toronto is enough to make a man try anything. The event doesn't allow for a tea break, though. <laughs> Just lift 310 kilos of an unyielding barrel, and you can go home with your head held high. That will do. He'd bow, except he wouldn't get back up again. Thank you. The cut to see cop. Markovic is a Yugoslav-born Canadian policeman. It's a fair mixture to squeeze into a kilt, but it does raise the question, how did Dan end up with a Campbell tartan wrapped around him? Well, a friend of mine was selling it for $25, so it was the cheapest they could get, so I bought it. There's a canny Scott lurking in there somewhere for sure, but it's hard to imagine how a Yugoslav-Canadian came to take up this strange Scott sport.